What is Losartan? Losartan is a prescription medication. The brand name is Cosa. It belongs to a family of medications called angiotensin II receptor blockers, ARBs for short. How does Losartan work? Losartan works by relaxing your blood vessels, and in this way, your blood pressure is reduced. This results in a more efficient blood flow through your vessels. What is Losartan used for? This medication is used to treat high blood pressure. If you're diabetic, your doctor might be using it to protect your kidney function, in particular in patients who are losing protein through their kidneys. It is also used if your blood pressure is causing a heart problem where the left chamber of your heart is thicker. This condition is called left ventricular hypertrophy. Using this medication can reduce the risk of a stroke. It can also be used after a heart attack to help prevent further heart attacks. It is also shown to improve survival after such an event. Losartan can be also used in the management of progressive heart failure and helps decrease mortality and improve the heart's function. Dosing and administration. Here I'm talking about the tablets and the dosage form for the tablets are 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 100 milligrams. I usually start at the lowest dose, which is 25 milligrams, and titrate up gradually. Some doctors like to start at a higher dose at 50 milligrams, especially in younger patients, and increase the dose for blood pressure control and for symptom management. How long does it last for Losartan to work? Losartan can reduce your high blood pressure in about six hours. However, for you to enjoy the full benefits of Losartan, it might take a couple of weeks, usually around three to six weeks. 19 must know tips for Losartan. Number one, Losartan can increase your potassium. You have to be careful when you take in potassium rich foods such as bananas, potatoes or oranges, or if you're taking any potassium supplements. Your doctor will have to regularly check your electrolytes. Number two, if you're on Losartan, especially for a longer period of time, there is the risk of kidney injury. But doctor, didn't you just say that the medication is kidney protective? Well, in patients with diabetes and kidney problems, it is protective. However, if you have a pre-existing kidney problem, another kind of kidney disease where the kidney blood flow is lower, this is called renal artery stenosis, or in older patients, you would be at risk. Number three, one of the reasons I'm hesitant about starting Losartan at too high of a dose, especially if you are on a diuretic such as Lasix, is that you would be at an increased risk for an acute kidney injury, especially if your blood volume is compromised because of dehydration or because you're on a diuretic such as Lasix. Number four, your doctor will warn you not to take non-aspirin NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, Advil or Motrin, as this significantly increases the chance of a kidney injury. Number five, Losartan can be taken with or without food. Take it around the same time every day. Number six, if you're taking this medication, especially if you're older, like I advise with all other blood pressure medications, is that it can make you feel dizzy and lightheaded, especially if you suddenly st uh, stand up. So take your time when you're getting up from a sitting or sleeping position. Be careful when you're going up and down stairs. Number seven, this medication should not be taken during pregnancy. If you do become pregnant, tell your doctor as soon as possible, as this medication should be immediately discontinued. This is because Losartan can cause birth defects. Number eight, if you do develop cold-like symptoms while on this medication, it could be a side effect from the medication. These include a stuffy nose, sore throat, and sneezing. Number nine, taking alcohol and Losartan can increase the risk of side effects and further lower your blood pressure. Number 10, all drugs have side effects. And if you're interested in side effects of other common blood pressure medications, click on this link above. Having said that, some individuals, as we are all different genetically and physiologically, have no side effects or just mild side effects. I'm just going to highlight some of these side effects pertaining to this particular drug, which are quite common. Talk to your doctor or talk to your pharmacist about 
these side effects. Number 11, if you're having an allergic reaction such as swelling of your face, lips, mouth, tongue or throat, or difficulty breathing, chest pain, new onset of hives or a rash with itching, call your doctor as soon as possible or get medical help as soon as possible. Number 12, this medication can cause a cough. Reach out to your doctor, especially if it's getting too bothersome, as they might want to change you to another medication. Number 13. Patients who are diabetics might experience low blood sugars. Make sure you're monitoring your blood sugars regularly. Number 14. If you're unable to swallow the tablets, the tablets can be made into a liquid suspension. Number 15. If you have liver disease, your dose of lasartan will need to be adjusted, and the typical starting dose for you would be 25 milligrams daily. Number 16. Losartan may not be as effective if you are of African American descent. This is because of lower levels of a hormone called renin while your blood pressure is elevated. Number 17. If you're on a blood pressure medication called Tectuna, this is the brand name, the ingredient of the medication is right here. You cannot Take it with losartan. Number 18. It can interact with a number of medications and the list will be too exhaustive. I'll just highlight a, a couple, you know, right here, or right here, or another right here, or right here. And number 19. In 2019 and subsequent years, there have been recalls of losartan and other ARBs due to trace amounts of impurities in an active pharmaceutical ingredient. These recalls affected certain lot and batch numbers. The names of these impurities are NDMA and NDEA. They're also referred to as nitrosamines. There's the risk of cancer if taken for a long period of time. Currently, the FDA is rec recommending that you should continue taking the medication. If the medication were to be suddenly stopped, the harm would be higher to someone's health without an alternative treatment. You can talk to your doctor or your pharmacist to safely switch to an alternative ARB or lot which was not affected. And if you're interested in other videos, you can click right here or right here or right here or right here. Think your health and have a good day. I don't know what is going on with my phone. Then someone's like to text me. Am I in focus? So I'm, I'm repeating this thing because I'm not sure whether I put the record button on. Why is it taking so long?